and we welcome you here. May you enjoy what you find. May what you find guide you. And remember to subscribe and like. In this lecture, we'll be considering graph connectivity and graph transversal. Given node to node connectivity, given graph G and two particular node S and T, we would like to answer the question Is there a path from S to T in G? We will call this the problem of determining S to T connectivity. The S to T connectivity problem will also be called the maze solving problem. If you imagine G as a maze with a room corresponding to each node, and an hallway corresponding to each edge that joins the rooms together. Then the problem is to start from a room S and find our way to another designated room T. There are two natural algorithms for this problem breadth first search and depth first search. Figure 3.1 will be used in illustrating both of these algorithms. It also shows the corresponding layers. BF search. We start with S and include all nodes that are joined by an edge to S. This is the first layer of the search. We then include all additional nodes that are joined by an edge to any nodes in the first layer. This is the second layer. We continue in this way until no new nodes are encountered. In other words, we start at S and flow the graph with an expanding wave that grows to visit all nodes it can reach. Now, note the difference between discovering a node and reaching a node. You can discover a node and not reach it, but you can't reach a node without discovering it. The layer containing a node represents the point in time at which the node is reached. A node fails to appear in any of the layer if and only if there is no path to it. Thus, BFS is not only determining the node that S can reach, it is also computing the shortest path to them. Now, note for each j greater than or equal to 1, layer L through j produced by BFS consists of all nodes at distance exactly j from S. There is a path from S to T, even only if T appears in some layer. The set of nodes discovered by BFS algorithm is precisely those reachable from the starting node S. We will refer to this set as R, the connected component of G containing S. And once we know the connected component containing S, you can simply check whether T belongs to it so as to answer the question of S to T connectivity. The BF algorithm. Let's define R as a set which includes S. R will consist of nodes of which S has a path. Initially, R consists only S. While there is an edge, U, V, where U is an element of R and V is not an element of R, add V to R and Y. The set R produced at the end of the algorithm is precisely the connected component containing S. Also, the tree produced at the end of the algorithm is called the BF search.